Community Hot Rod Project reached out to us to bring a vehicle up to Montecito Motor Week in Santa Barbara. Uh, it's on the polo fields, it's a concours event, so it's really a mix of collector cars, exotic cars, um, and just classics in general. The theme there was concept car, rethink, reimagine, reinvent. And uh, Kevin with Community Hard Project asked if I had a vehicle to bring. And I kind of looked up what they were going for there. And I was like, it would be really special to bring out uh, Chasing Passion and have this thing out on the grass and have the contrast of it amongst exotics and Lamborghinis and Ferraris and Cobras. And the first thing I had to do with Kevin is he asked if I could send him some pictures because the board or the committee for the Montecito Motor Classic was very particular about bringing not only cars that run under their own power, but also completed vehicles and for the venue. And uh, I didn't know if there was a chance and he said, well, let me just, let me show him some pictures and they have a meeting on Thursday. And I sent them Wednesday night and boom, Thursday afternoon, he goes, they approved it. They love it. They, they want to have it out there. And um, just that was awesome to, to be able to know that we can bring this thing out there amongst all the other cars. Things to get this thing to be a roller. The, you know, it's not gonna steer with a steering column, but we can at least get this to a part where we can get it on a flatbed and unload it at the event and, and just kind of position where we need to. So right off the bat, tie rods for the front, just mock up tie rods, just so the wheels will steer themselves and we can kind of kick them or push them and get them to turn with each other. Uh, the other portion is we have Pro-Am Trophy Truck front and rear hubs as well as Brembo Trophy Truck brake package. So all that stuff, the, the calipers needed to be tabbed to the uprights and tabbed to the rear housing. Uh, and we got all that stuff done and it's ready. It's on its wheel and tire program that it's going to have for the future. So this is uh, retired Pro-Am wheels like Rob McCachron's trophy truck used to have. I think the Riviera truck had these at 1.2, the old Riviera truck, which is a original Gordon chassis. Um, so everything's kind of dress rehearsal as buttoned up as we have it. I put on just driver and passenger door with driver seat and uh, third occupant. And then the passenger side only has the extra cab door on and it has no driver door and no passenger seat. So you can really see the packaged side uh, on the driver side and then go to the passenger side and it kind of leaves the sheet metal and the packaging exposed just for people to enjoy both sides. So I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, Sean's been helping me get this thing together. And it's just been a, a group effort collectively. Same with like Roy at Pro-Am. He's, he's sent us some stuff for the fixture, the, the rear seals and the calipers. So everything's been a, a joint collective. Thomas has helped us get the wheel and tires up here and mounted and, and complete. We're gonna get this thing towed in the morning. We're gonna use Thomas Towing Service out of Santa Barbara. Super awesome, super professional service. Um, they've kind of reached out to help us with this program. It's a lot easier than us hooking up a truck, hooking up a trailer, then winching it on. At least with a flatbed, we can kind of just go in, figure out where we want to drop it and just back up and drop the thing. And it's just a, a lot less haphazard. So it's going to be pretty exciting to wheel this thing out and see it just outside, out of the cave, sunlight, and just kind of be able to step back and see the proportions and set the, you know, we'll have the ride height set on it. So when you see it, it'll be really close to how it's gonna be all said and done. Obviously, we'll have to respring it once the, uh, once the engine and the fuel cell cradle go in there. But you know, the, just getting, getting vehicles like this outside and being able to step further back than you usually would in the confines of a shop, um, it's, it's a real breath of fresh air and it's a milestone to kind of have this thing be a roller like it is.
we are here with Community Hot Rod Project. They're a nonprofit, uh, and we have this thing on display with a bunch of other cool stuff. We're kind of the first people. Rat Rod Jeff is here with his, uh, and we're just the first people on scene to drop this thing. They're staging today and they're staging tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to kind of have a um, question and answer Q and A thing going on, and just walk around, look at all the cars. There's horses everywhere. It's beautiful. There's green grass. The ocean's just across the way. And we're just going to kind of see what kind of impact this thing has um, in real life. It looks empty right now, but there's supposed to be 250 cars, uh, 5,000 people going through. So we're going to be set up. TJ's going to have his Porsche here. I think we're probably going to have the coolest stuff as far as diversity. And then there'll probably be a lot of like classics and exotics uh, coming in. So hope you guys enjoy. And I'm pretty excited. It's, it's the first time having this thing out. It's fun to look at in the sun. Everything's shiny, uh, and it's just a good, a good, you know, intermission to uh, continue on the build when we get done. So she's back in her home, faced the opposite way. Uh, the Motor Classic was awesome. It was a beautiful day, perfect weather, um, perfect conditions, just as expected seeing it on the grass and ar around other vehicles and just that contrast and tons of people just kind of exploring it and looking at the details and, and just uh, a lot of interest and impact. And I didn't have any kind of intention except just to see it out there um, and all the feedback we got was awesome and um, we also got to kind of talk uh, tj russell with the baja 911 and then jeff who is rat rod jeff he's he's just builds these kind of dynamic old school period correct rat rods uh, we were all there and we got to kind of mingle with each other and and talk about our craft and our vehicles um, this thing is back like this now. This is kind of our our next step here is to build out the rest of the chassis, and it's going to involve uh, you know a design process and uh, a lot of sketching first, figuring out proportions. I've got uh, just enough of a fixture set up back here to get what we needed information wise to kind of have pictures on the computer. Uh, some of the stuff's been scanned, and then we're gonna go, you know, uh, the client Thomas and I are going to just go back and forth uh, with with our ideas and concepts and really create something that's functional and dynamic and, and next level for this thing. You know, I spend a lot of time in here on this thing and, and other projects as well, but this is the one, the, the flagship that I really put the passion and the details into. And it's easy for me to get lost in, in just my own um, perspective on this thing and, and to have it out you know in the masses with kids and um, vets and everybody in between can come up and, and kind of talk to me about it and see it and be intrigued and you can see what it does to people when they look at it and the certain things that they find and the details and um, it, it's good to have that perspective and to just get out of my own zone of building it and, and see like what the, the impact it has on, on other people.